Yo, welcome to the show. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I'm going to be on this drink for about a couple hours. Game plan. First of all, sound check. Alright, we in there and I got roaches. I'm about to deal with them. But the game plan before I get into that. I'm gonna go give me a panther from over here. Then I'm gonna do this mission very first. Uh, it won't even pop up because I got these roaches. Let me hit him with the ray cannon one time. It's time to exterminate. Should happen. What up, though? Whoever that is. Let's see what this guy got. I keep an eye out for them gators. Cause they hawking. out of here. Goddamn roach. Alright. Oleander. Hey, eat that shit. You better not. Unless you want to change your name to Cheddar Bob. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's the bounty hunter. I thought it was a big ass snake. <laughs> Still got some wild tendencies. Trying to work that shit out. the damn bridge you're a dumb ass man see god damn horse 
If you'd have kept walking, you'd have been all right. Now I gotta shoot this fucking gator. Aim at this one, man. What the fuck are you doing? Oh shit! That motherfucker came out of nowhere. Ha! <laughs> I did not. I was not ready for that one. You goofy ass on, man. Oh my god, bro. Alright. This y'all acting a fucking fool. Come about that swamp if you want. Come on, what's With the goofy shit. I gotta make sure that shit is off screen. <laughs> of course, I lost the gator skin. Fuck it. There's plenty of them. Skin that joint later. Jesus! Jesus Christ! Get me off this thing! No. Not exactly a happy union, I take it. Time to move on once and for all. I mean it this time. Sure you do. I thought we was bad. You gonna fight your way out of there and you gonna fuck up my hunt. And I'm gonna have to kill you. And she really ain't coming back.
that's the squirrel now I need a badger now what the hell happened to my bait Try one more time. Yo, what's happening? Try and catch me a panther. a coyote no problem I thought that was a wolf they ain't gonna do nothing they fucking up my hunt though god damn it this nigga still squirming <laughs> boy he like my new horse he be alright mission right quick uh, oh yeah I think I got all three of the pieces to that map too something else. Appreciate it. Yeah, I had to come up with something. Something catchy and unique. And these controllers be fucking with me, man. I swear I'm better than the shit be giving me for your entertainment purposes. I'm trying to figure out if this shit is going to stream uh, smoother than how it has been because I changed the uh, <clears throat> I changed the um, the format because I at first I had it on performance and I think that's what had it skipping so let me know if that drink get the skipping but I'm not really watching except for what I'm doing Oh, 
Ah, I've seen things. I've seen bad things. I saw my brother die. I saw my friends die. I, I saw my leg. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? This motherfucker. <laughs> This way. Come on. Nah, man. I know panhandlers when I see him. He, he probably got that that thing bent and tucked in his pants, man. That that leg he said he missing. Standing there faking like a motherfucker. I ain't falling for it. That shit ain't chocolate. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur. Your man's senses is about as sharp as butter knife backsides. But anyway. You ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Oh, shit. I gotta ride with the deputy. Come on. We need to get moving. He ain't worth a damn, man. Archibald, how are you? Pretty Got good. Got me doing all the work. And your this friend sitting pretty on the himself? damn wagon. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's Wait learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you, there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. 
old cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. You know, we're really gonna have to find you some more suitable attire. If I'd only knew I was gonna be deputized today. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Somebody turn this John over. Come on, oh yeah. Mister. Damn. Keep your eyes open. Got your boy looking like blue face. Look at this shit. This it oh, shit is actually blue. This must have happened recently. He looked like a statue. <clears throat> hey, come have a look at this. Damn flies. I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in yeah. a while. Wash away, stink ass dude. Let's just move on. Tell me I don't dwell on it while you looking at the body. What are you talking about, bro? Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. That sounds like a hit. He says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. I'll yeah, run into them. I've run into them. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we've got any identification. They some goofy motherfuckers too. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. So you look like he feel bad for fucking identifying the body and shit. You ain't no deputy at all. Why you keep getting on your horse? You know you're supposed to get on the wagon, bruh. Come on with that shit. I am gonna get my gun. Oh, that's right. Damn it. They won't even let me hold my guns. Would you mind taking the reins? I wanna have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Go right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Bear right again here. But anyway, this tells you what kind <laughs> My of people are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Emotional ass. Now, 
anyone we find here. Actually, yeah, we're gonna go with the pump and the repeater. Bring in alive, understood? Round up and take this operation down for good. Come on. I gotta look into it. Let's see what we're dealing. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Who gives well, a damn? The way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. Hold back. See if they split up. We won't catch the ride. Grab the other fella. Get that motherfucker, Bill. That's that bullshit about first person. It's like, I don't know why the nigga don't run. I be wanting to do this whole shit in first person, but. Janky joysticks, I'm trying to tell you. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? <laughs> Tell me about this. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... Years ago, they were the family around. Get the fuck out the way, man. You ain't about to do it.
God damn, Bill. All right. Anymore. Do you? Good shoot. No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Um, wait a me. minute. There's some goodies around here. Are we getting out of here, then? You go ahead, man. I'm gonna fuck around and see what they got, man. You might be here a minute. Put your ass down, buddy. Scout the goodies. It's the free shit. Ammo. Money. Other stuff like consumables and shit. Shit to sell. the police <laughs> shit why not it would do it damn cuz <laughs> yeah it's a lot of goodies down <laughs> return to our lives ah seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine sure would you like us to well, i normally take it for personal consumption it's sort of part of the job <laughs> but i better get back home why don't i just take a jug or two and leave you'll you see boys him in the a rest minute. to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war we are all americans of course we got one in the crew. My we cousin, got we got two in the crew. Webster. Matter of fact, three. He actually. used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards. That even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes. For the moment. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. See, bit of trouble back there. Giant or faster or than his. Both of them Arabians. One day was yelling. I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! <laughs> you 
You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Come on, man. What are you doing? Elite handling. What the fuck, bruh? Bullshitting like a motherfucker. so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Okay. That's a strange outfit. You all right there? I think so. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Hey, there's room here. You want to sit? Hey, Arthur. Arthur? Can, can I have a oh, word? Arthur! <sighs> you smell. It's cologne. This is not what I want to deal with right now, okay? Well, that's me told.
Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it, as long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here, where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very <laughs> sick man indeed. Well, come on, then, you miserable bastards. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! Yes. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clock. Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey, think I see something? Oh, uh, great. <laughs> let's go, Arthur. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, great. Let's get up out of here, baby. All right.
God damn it. Enough to rear to watch our motherfuckers back. They're still on us. Quick, get off the trail into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men to camp. All right. Whoa, let, let, let's hide in here. Quick, hold it. Go on, get out of here. Get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. Terrible how they do they do your man, Charles. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I did know. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Shit about to get crazy. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. This place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. God damn it, Arthur! What was that? Let fly at them, boys! Anyway, done yet. 
my damn hat go? How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. Can I get my hat back. God damn. Right quick before you get the cooking. Watch it, Charles. They ain't let me get my damn hat back. What the fuck? Hold them back. Do not let them close in on us. Let me get in there. Watch it. God damn. Don't worry, fellas. We ain't going out like this. No goddamn way. Why? You got another school? Our flag for us, Uncle? If we don't get out of here soon, we're charcoal. Motherfuckers is on us, man. Fuck. I should have grabbed my bow and arrow instead. Yeah, let's, let's shake these boys. They split up a bit. Try to confuse them. Arthur, with me. Guess we should go give him a hand. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Glonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Glonk. Run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Yo, welcome back. What time is it? Okay, I got like 30 minutes. I want to get the mouse in. Who the fuck is out here? Oh, you got to go, buddy. Where are you going? Please help! Help! Tripping like shit. You ain't scaring nobody. 
Relax, all right. I'm not telling anyone. Yeah, For no. For Christ's sakes! Come, untie me. This yeah, is yeah. Uh, very kind of you. <laughs> you take care now. <laughs> Help me! Tripping. Hey, what? Takes Thanks for the goodies. No. Help me! When I get loose, you're gonna wish you'd untied me. Uh, you don't mind, do you? Devil in hell! Until then, good luck with that. <laughs> oh shit, we got the laws. We got the laws. It's time for me to get my. John Wick ass and all. Let's get it. You know what to do, boys. Let's get this sorted. Nope. Job got. Since you're coming through, appreciate the party favors. <laughs> uh oh, we got us another hog tab victim. Run, god damn it. Catch that motherfucker, man. Hey, where's the law? Come on. What the fuck? Bitch. Thank you, joysticks, man. I'm telling you, shit ain't no game. I, mean, I ain't done with you, buddy. <laughs> Come on, stop this. Oh, sorry, Fido. I am not I am Get out of here <laughs> Fuck you mean I am not I am Well I can't let you suffer though bodies to search and these motherfuckers keep popping up too this is about to be the whole event so I just need to get the fuck away from here you done broke I'll out the Rubik's Cube quick son of a bitch help me. All right. you want to chill like the fuck out Say no more. You I don't believe that shit that. Fuck out of here, all three of y'all. Yeah. They get tired of losing their folks, they stop sending them.
might have broke the game with that uh video that I made. Well, I was like basically duking it out with the cops for about 20 minutes. Okay there. God damn it. So one star. God damn it. What the hell's wrong with you all? I hardly said a word. Just feels like we ain't getting nowhere. Oh shit. It's the end of the century. It seems like we ain't much further on than we was in 65. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. We can still live free. We can still say we don't recognize you or answer to your laws. It's fair to be one man living the truth and a million living the Three of them jumps. Now you all know that most of us old timers we fought alongside. Each other. They're looking. Fine regiment. The summer is. Yo, welcome back. I'm about to fuck them up real nice. Said it was gonna be some fireworks. Oh, that is perfect. And I get blown up into the air, and I'm as high as a house, and then everything goes black. <laughs> How about I that? To, in a cloud of smoke. I think I must be at the gates of hell. And then it clears. And I see a... <laughs> Bing, 
gonna live to tell this tale. I picked up a spear. That was almost a strike. Let's see what y'all got. Almost got all of them with that one shot. You gotta hear some horse food. Roaches on me. That shit was excellent. About to pick their pockets. Yeah. yeah, I am. Who am I kidding? I gotta see what they got because they might not give me something. Okay. Something to sell. Still need to find a badger. It will be a one star. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. 
I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Hey, thanks for coming through even if they don't say nothing, Mona. Fuck it. They helping us push the content. I'm just trying to share this story. Cause I Here thought it was interesting. Are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? And it's such a I'm deep game to play. There. You know Moonshine, what I'm saying? I still ain't found the third media right yet. May I'm trying to figure that shit the out. Man of the, house. the man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. I got eyes in the back of my head, too. What you want to do? What you want? Found something out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? A dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now... Who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. 
Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're shortcut time. Certain ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. <laughs> you're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Listening it. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. A squint. A bit. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? No, oh, shh. Sh you can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> <laughs> It was almost a disaster. <laughs> Keep it and stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <sighs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> oh, man. You should have heard some of the conversations you can hear around the campsite. I didn't, I didn't stream them. But Gentlemen. I was listening to them shits. And Quite yeah, some of the backgrounds that these folks come from. Hey. I mean, it's pretty much like right Hello, after that Melvin. time period, during it's the reconstruction Francis. period. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. <laughs> For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your luck I'll be a boy, Fenton. drinks. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look a gift horse in the house. Huh? That's see some strong stuff. Just keep them coming. Sin will catch us all. <laughs> ha, Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Fenton, grab another bottle. There's plenty to go around. Where's mine, Don't then? Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. You're a fine man, Finn. A fine man. Don't listen to your brother. Over here, Finn. Here comes the smoke. Drink up, drink up. Fenton, serve these vets. 
Serve these men, you murderous moron. <laughs> I'll have one, Benton. Breaks on the house for the next 30 minutes only. Well, glad hit the spot. Keep them coming, Benton. Just keep them coming. <laughs> drink up, drink! Uh, Moines Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. oh. I want both the... So the bitch is dead. <laughs> This way, up the stairs, there's more coming. Got a hit. Where are you, Arthur? That's our booze. Hey, hey, it's this way. more of them? Don't think so. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Yeah! Okay. All right, we're good. Yeah, remind me never to take up a career in, what was it? Advertising. Yeah, you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe, this place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia, clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. 
On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Arthur! Stay away from me. Oh, but, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. I'm not sure I appreciate your tone, girl. Well, I'm not sure I appreciate your smell. Don't you overcook this now, bitch. Let me take a bath, please. I will not put up with much more of your tongue, miss. All right, one. let me see. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Girl, and you Come won't on. get yours. That's the problem. You're beginning to creep me out, Arthur. Who the fuck is my horse? Yo, what happened to my horse, man? It's a flash package. Huh? Oh, that's some bullshit. About to say, I got some donations to make. And you the reason that they ain't here. You want to sit down, Arthur? Nope. Ah, 
now I can turn this into something special. Oh, Many yeah. thanks. Yeah. We'll see you in a bit. Now, let me do this fast travel. Easy now. Found a massive skeleton. Wonder how big the man was, or if he was a man at all. Yeah, easy now.
Five minutes. Five minute countdown. Yeah, that shit did not work. Come on, horse. Well, perhaps that's the clip. What the fuck is that joint? That's not it. Strawberry, black water. Rose, Saint Denis, and Valentine. Till later to hey, boy. make all those moves. Yep. It's eleven fifty nine and the fucking alien John didn't come. That's what I was hoping would happen. One more minute. Easy, easy. Oh. Let's not yeah. die. I don't wanna be the ball drop. I was trying to make the UFO the ball drop. Oh, shit. Damn. I got him. So, um, okay. Yeah. 
guess the sunrise is another thing. You got some roaches. You got some roaches. Happy New Year. Oh shit, it's 2023. God damn it. Oh, horse, what are you doing, man? Oh my god, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. Holy shit, I thought I was dead. <laughs> Mm, that was terrible. You're gonna be all right. That fall was far as shit. Damn. Let me not back up no more, cause I still got more falling to do. <laughs> yeah, let's get off this mountain, boy. Yep. Fucking ourselves up. down there must have gone off the cliff yep I think he's from that uh, cabin up the way there poor bastard well uh, guess hey. I'll tell the sheriff when I get to town let me see what's this cabin talking about happy new year yeah uh, oh yeah make sure my helmet I mean my my microphone was off. What's this cabin he's talking about? Hey, he's in there. What's that? What's that? Is that a badger? Hell yeah. That better be perfect. Pick up Nedra from her mother's house to do Mrs. Payton. Uh oh. They popping off the fireworks. Didn't work as planned, but fuck it. Hey, stop there, don't move. Damn it. God damn old Driscoll's. <laughs> A 
lost your mind. Popping up the fireworks. Oh, that's right. I can fast travel now. There we go. I don't have to do all this riding around and shit on the horse. Are you kidding me? Whoa, ain't trying to bust my ass again. Come on, horse. Kind of activity. Easy, easy. I hear wolves.
This ain't fucking with me. Oh shit, they fucking with somebody though. Get his pockets. Howdy. <laughs> Never know what you're going to get. My wolves and roaches. some wolf steaks. Alright. Now, what I wanted to do is fast travel. I can't even set up camp here. Damn. I can't do it over here. Nope. What the fuck? I can't use the stagecoach because I got a bounty everywhere. <laughs> Ain't this a bitch? Happy New Year, welcome to the show. Let's 
popping up here. I hear some smoke. Just that guy. Idiot. Ah, senor. I think maybe we see if uh, last time was luck, huh? I'm feeling good today, way. What do you say about up in the ante this time? Make it interesting. Why not? I'm feeling good too. Ha! Okay, my friend, let's do it. Just like the last time, okay. Hey, who can shoot the most bottles? Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Pito! You just got lucky. If that makes you feel better, sure. Oh, that was damn pathetic. Oh, how about another round, huh? Raised stakes. All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. Just like before, mi amigo. You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, you win. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah! There oh, man. Stupid. Stupid. Oh. Oh. That's good shooting, I guess. Oh. Here it is, okay? Yeah. Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Boy. Right. Oh, can I can I do the camp and go fast travel? Hey, he's in there. Bruh. Ah. Here we go. What? Yeah. I could, but I'm gonna rob somebody else. And then I'm gonna take that wagon to Seamus. I'm not going yeah. that direction this time, though. I'm supposed to get a help. I got three more. No. Yeah. I'm gonna stop by the trap and then. Wait a damn minute. Trap is like right up in here. Okay. 
scared ever since they took him off that cliff earlier. <laughs> that shit was fucked up. Whoops. Yeah. Whoa. There you go. It's been a little while, eh? So, what do you have for me? Right, let's see. Take that. Take that. M2. And that legendary beaver. The sparrow pockets. I'd wager I can travel faster with this stall and tow than you or anyone can with nothing but a horse and a saddle. It's not about speed, it's about knowing the land. Yeah, I got nothing else Much to say. appreciated. Lighten's my load. Can I do the camp thing? Bye. Can I be of service? Okay, bet. Pleasant travels. Hope this horse don't get run over by the train. We gotta do two more missions and then be all for this. Been two hours now. Get off the train creeping, dog. Watch out, lady. Oh, yeah, let me go do this yeah. job, mission. Supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. 
A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. You. you don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's troubles. Who are you? Like I said, we had a run of bad luck in the West. Lost some money on a failed railway speculation. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. Hag. Let's see, this is where they fucked up. Because before then, he was saying his last name was Callahan. That's what he told Sheriff Gray. Now his father knows him as Arthur Morgan. They're inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Hell over there we will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Get up! <laughs> Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment 
with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Her partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see. So much for going in quiet, idiota. The horse just had to nick that dude, man. Come on, this bullshit. Janky joysticks. I didn't even do that shit. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. How are you? Hey! Yeah, there, boy. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hit you up there. Let's hitch up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Catch your breath, boy. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. 
that's what you're interested in? What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. easy. Take it easy then. Marston. Easy. It's okay. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. I'll watch the rear. What the hell? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said... Oh, you son of a bitch! Horses to Clemens Cove, quick, before we run into any more trouble. Well 
done. Lemon's Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <clears throat> Easy. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that so sure pop I'm Clay Davies that's my brother Clive we're twins John Arthur Javier <clears throat> so what are you Cuban no I don't like Cubans that so Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. You should have known. That was a trick from the get-go. You know, I just told him that didn't look like he had $5,000. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. Right. <clears throat> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Might as well catch a fish while I can. See what's biting. Wait a minute. Hmm. There ain't shit out here. Oh, okay, got something over there. Let me see what's up. I'm gonna do this one now. My lady. Good morning, Arthur. Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh. 
Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Ladies? Good morning. It's this way. On me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but... No, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are, right? decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I uh, guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? 
They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. I don't think this is the place to be leaving the horses. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey. Big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Are we doing this? you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. Well, they're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Down by the road, we do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? See if you spot anything. All right, some tents. You got men covering the house. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them on us. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. <gasps> well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. You gonna make a call?
So, what are we doing? We're here for your guns and your money. Give them up. I thought we were strategizing. Look here. Sounds like a plan. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest. Let's get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. We'd be better on the road, right? Don't spare the nag. Come on. Come on. G up. Fall in. Riders, coming our way. Keep it together here. Hey, stop. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In Seen him chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, but enough. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. camps in these trees up here. Let's get there.
Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Ain't got far to go. was crazy. The camp had to come out and help me. I was trying to keep them niggas away from the camp. But anyway. Well, now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until <laughs> we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Susan! Hey. Hey. 
Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't call. Check the house. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Found anything? Anything there? Tacitus killed Gore Mining Company. This is what to do you certify think? that Blank is the holder of Blank shares and exclusive, inclusive in the above company. So Subject it seems. Provisions By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Memorandum and article. Check the house. Association thereof. And that the sum of one dollar has been paid on each of the said shares. Secretary. Huh. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Why the fuck are you not looking for clues, Charles? There's some blood here. That ain't good. And an apple. And now you wanna look for some shit. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd look. say. I guess Tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Hey, Grease. What are you doing? Let's go. Yep. 
Just in case he did. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <laughs> Lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find him. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. Huh. They seem to head into the... What's now? Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Slow it down. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Who's talking now? Huh? You stay there. It's Trelawney. I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Ah. Whoa. That'll do it. All right, that should do it. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well... Loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. 
keeping fish on the line. <laughs> That must be it. Hold. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Come on, where are they? You wait till I find you. They ain't getting in the way. Chill out, Charles. Where are you? We got one more, Charles. Motherfucker. I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. <laughs> Let me take him. Let me get out of here. 
You have my friend. Not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on, let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. <laughs> we got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, <clears throat> I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? <laughs> Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess.
dumbass. Hope you gone. Made it to million, Carson. Arthur. Are you busy, Arthur? I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well... Lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things. I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know... You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. I heard some screams from the basement of the gunsmith earlier. I can't even imagine what he's got down there. Well, ain't uh, you, Hello, Mr. Alden. Excuse me. Hello, Joe Zahn. How have you been? Scare the horse and you, friend? Uh, Nothing like for I you said, to I'm concern tough. yourself with. My missus is a bad woman. Good morning to Terrible you. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel, the witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. 
Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Welcome. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Hey, boy. Okay, let's go. This way. Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. What were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Right ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. No, 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 no. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? It's a small benefit. It's Blackwater. Just... Mrs. Chester Damson. I flatter. Let's <laughs> stop the coach, my good man. Thank you. 
ball show. <laughs> Would you send me a sample room for me? I, I'm looking for an extra supply. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough. But Mrs. Damson, magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Easy. Here it is. What we agreed on. Good man. Well, you keep on doing what you do best. If you need more, just come along back. <laughs> Thank you. The North will remember us soon enough. 
More guns. Nah, that ain't good. You just walk along and mind your own damn business. <laughs>
with. Got something here for you. Very nice. I'll find a good home for this. Here you go. So long. Hey, boy. Don't you even think about raising a hand to me again. Go on, have yourself a quick nosy. After a little tchotchke, are we? Okay, that should work. There she is. Got the law on you? Good riddance to bad rubbish. Oh, shit. Oh, hell. Whatever point you're making, you made it. Just cut me loose. This is uh, very kind of you. Come on and lick my ass. Well, I'll know where to find you. Damn rheumatism is flaring up again. Wow, fine horse there. 
Hey there, mister. Okay then.
Yep. Idiot. This will be the last mission for the show. Yep. 
There we go. Easy now.
Time to go, boy. Yeah. Okay, boy. Howdy! <laughs> Go down to that. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. <laughs> You're a good boy. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. Let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna... Drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. 
All right, then. Yeah. Up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal. In, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Oh, is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <sighs> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. 
Ah. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest place. <laughs> Hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. That should do it. What was that? I guess it was nothing.
That's good for you. I'm gonna douse this too. those bloody fields to the ground. We'll hold this lot up. You get those fields properly going. We got company. Look out! This is bloody madness! More men up ahead! Goddamn head back! Turn into a right party. You call that a party? That break we had got our money's worth, are they? Let's just get out of here first.
think we lost them? That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Later. I, I got some business. Right you are, English. Another job well done, I'd say. You did good with that graze business. Yeah.
Let's go, girl. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> Me and Lenny brought some guns in. Robbed them off that gang that runs around here. Good work, well, Arthur. Well, <laughs> where did he come from? I don't know. He just wandered in. Hi, my friend. Hi. Well, then he's ours, I guess. For now. Aww. That's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Aww. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. <sighs> Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> well, <laughs> what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Arthur! A dog! A dog! I'm sleeping, Arthur. Hey. Morning, Arthur. Quit with the rocket. I'm tired. Alright, it was a good show tonight. Appreciate all y'all that came through. And I'm about to be out of here. Happy New Year. And fire's good and hot, Mr. Morgan. I'll check y'all on the next show. Doing better. That's good. Don't you overcook this now, Pierce. Oh, man, I didn't mean to give him that egg. He had his fish, though. Good job, Arthur. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Again, this thanks for watching. It's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days.
You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Morning, Arthur. Gladly. That was quarrels. I don't know nothing about that. You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch? Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. You are starting to unnerve me, friend. I don't, I don't think you want me any more unnerved than I already am. Till next time, y'all.